How's it going, everybody? Well, we out here at the Oconee Camp, and we brought this little rig out here that we've been working on for the past month. Y'all seen the video last week? We've already had to make some adjustments on this thing, and so we're out here now, we're actually running some material. So uh, one thing that we already noticed is there's not enough water pressure, but we're gonna have fun while we can. Let's see if we can find some gold with this thing. took this out for the time being there's one more thing we got to do to this thing before it's done but we're going to do it here shortly uh, buddy up here donnie up here at the camp he's going to get something we're going to fix this bucket where it won't I, I was hoping that the bungee cords would would fix just you know let it stay settled but it won't so we're going to drill those holes put those bolts in there and this thing's rock will uh, stay steady in that spruce box yeah we knew we was going to have some tweaks we had to work out Yep. We gotta figure out a little bit more water flow. We may end up having to jack the back legs up a little bit to get some more water flow to go across to clear our, cause right now we're uh, gumming up our sluice box. All right, we back. After about 30 minutes of working on it. But we, we knew it was gonna be adjusted. Yeah, we knew he was gonna adjust it. So y'all stick around, we're gonna run some material now. It's, it's time to run some material. Still got a slow flow. I think I'm gonna have to get a bigger pump for it. But uh, hey. We didn't know, right? So, let's do it. Let's let's see if we can capture some gold in this thing. See any gold nuggets in there? No. Not yet. Not yet. Mm. <clears throat> but they're in there. Oh, they're in there. All right. Yeah. I'm hoping we got a big one down there. There'll be something in there. Surely we'll find a speck or two. I hope we find a speck or two. There's the bilge pump down there. We've got these two batteries right here. Now, we did something a while ago, we think. I mean, all we're doing is adding water to it. But, if we get water, See, our water pressure is getting lower and lower too because the batteries are starting to go out. But yeah, a new bat. It was a new battery. I figured it wasn't going to have a real good charge. But we just adding water as we go. It gives a little better flow down there in that sluice. This bedrock. This uh. No, it's not even. Yeah, it's broken up. Decomposing up. bedrock. Yep, decomposing right there. All right, here we go. As y'all can see, the water flow is not as what we wanted it, but it's all right. It's it's going to do for the day. We're just having to go in slow, let it kind of fill up the scoop with water, and then we ease it out of there. Yeah, it's working. I mean, the, the rocks are coming out. I think washing them a hundred percent. Again, our water flow is low. You can see this. There's not a lot of water flowing like it ought to be. It ought to be about twice to three times as much water. All right, a little while back, there was a company that they wanted us to test one of their products. Well, um, it's they're basically muck boots is what they are. And Steven got them in my size and asked me to do the, the uh, uh, review. review on it. I'll think of it in a minute. But anyway, this is the company name is Cow Cow. I've actually wore these out three different times i rode them on my I wore them riding my four wheeler i we went hunting with them i wore them all day hunting with them i wore them out here today and my honest review i am particular about boots 
but they do what they're designed to do they keep your feet dry other than sweating of course because they're hot but uh, I wear thicker socks with mine because I don't like my foot flopping around inside a boot but these actually fit pretty good with regular socks not like a lot of them um, they're durable I have not had any problem with them whatsoever uh, the only thing that I could say that they might be able to do a little better is um, the soles, the insoles of them could be a little softer because they're, they're fairly hard. But if you're a person that wears insoles in your boots, that would actually probably tighten them up on your foot to where they fit perfectly. They are true to size. I got 11 and a half and that's, they are exactly what I needed as far as the, that goes. And yeah, I would say absolutely. I, I like them. I like them a lot. They uh, got good tread on them. All around, I say it's a it's a good boot. So you been in the water with them? I have been in the water with them, and they do keep your feet dry just like they're they're supposed to do. But yeah, um, I wouldn't say slip resistant because you will slip on some slick rocks. But I hadn't found a boot that you won't. But all in all, I think it's I think it's a good product. Everything's down in the description, um, cowcow, uh, dot com or something like that. Anyway, uh, just take a look at them if you're interested or whatever. But uh, yeah, Chris has been wearing them out here all morning. I hope they some gold in here. If not, we're deleting the whole video and you're not gonna see it. You'll never see it anyway. No, we'll we'll still I'm gonna still post this because I want you guys to see because the video of us building it, you've already seen, it. and I told you. We would tell you, we, we would. Well, he said we was going to delete everything, but I don't work that way. You're going to see what we do. So, yeah, and if we don't find any gold, I definitely wouldn't blame it on this camp. No, because this camp does produce gold. But this is a trial run for something that we done. We we wanted to give it a shot, and all in all, I think it worked exactly like we wanted it to. We just we're still going to do a little bit more tweaking on it here and there, but yep. I think it done exactly what it's supposed to do. It did how it was built to do. <laughs> so we're going to up the ante a little bit, add some stuff to it. Or we might throw the whole idea out and buy, buy a high banker. Y'all want to help with that? Send us some send us some uh, monetary on that one. That's right. All right, let's, let's, uh, let's take it all apart. Yeah, this thing's loaded with black sand and got garnet sand in it. Maybe they'd be some gold in there. What'd you say, Chris? Gerald, this is for you. Well, uh, let me show you what we're working with here. We got these poles and we stuck them in there. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we appreciate all them guys that work to watch that's our right. stuff. We really do. I know he's not in security anymore, but he knows most of them still. But uh, that's, how, that's why we started this thing. We first started the channel. We started it to goof off and have just a good time and people at work watch our videos and laugh with us but we appreciate everybody we really do we ain't making fun we having fun that's right joe i love you all right so we're doing some preliminary searching here that might be one right there don't know for certain no i don't know if that one is i don't think it is but, but we're going to get everything cleaned up in a minute but he was wanting to look at it up close but it might be one right there. We'll see a lot better when we get it washed off. Yep, wash it up. Wash it. All right, there's the concentrates out of our two upper mats yep. that's where the gold's gonna be you know it's a lot of moving material just for some a little bit of to remove just a little yeah. bit of stuff I mean, out of the ground ain't much in there you know yeah look like a lot of black sand though yeah it's got a lot of black sand that's one there's one right there see it i don't think you will see that right? tell you what take this from Uh, there's one there that keeps getting covered up. There's one in there. There it is. Now she's shining in that green. Y'all see that? Look at that. 
Hey, Tipper. So we got the one piece in here, and we're gonna take the rest of this material. I think there's three or four other pieces in here, and this is just what we found, what we pulled out of the little white bucket. The we upper got, mats, yeah. Yeah, upper mat. We got the orange bucket over there from the green mat. I'm gonna hook up the mini sluice, and we're gonna go through all of these cons like meticulously. So we're gonna make sure we get all the gold out of it. And we'll figure out how much we got. And it's just gonna be little, little specs, of course. But we'll do it. So we'll see ya. And you know what that means? Our machine worked. It finds gold. That's where the gold's gonna be. It will be there. Right there. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm coming. Well, we've already had to make some adjustments. We'll... Let's go, Mr. Mrs. Lovett. Let's go, Mr. Mrs. Lovett. Let's go, Mr. Mrs. Lovett.